Welcome back to Weekends with Alex Witt. Let's go now to Washington, where the battle over funding the government is getting uglier. Republicans in the House pushed through a bill on Friday that keeps everything operating, but there is a big catch. As you probably know, it includes a provision that fully defunds President Obama's signature legislation, the Affordable Care Act, or as it's called, Obamacare. If it's not resolved, the government shuts down in nine days. Joining me now, Democratic Congressman Jim McDermott, a member of the House Budget Committee. Representative McDermott, thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure, Alex. So uh, earlier this morning, sir, I spoke with your colleague, uh, Democratic Congressman John Yarmouth, and he told me there will be a government shutdown in nine days. What do you think? Well, for the longest time, I thought they'd come to their senses, but I really do think that the fighting inside the radical wing of the Republican Party is so intense that they cannot not have a shutdown. I think we're going to have a shutdown. Okay, so what can be done to avoid that shutdown? I mean, can you and fellow Democrats do anything along with the White House in terms of making a compromise on any of their spending bill demands? No, the, the Republicans are, are fighting among themselves to such an extent that there's almost nothing we can offer them or do with them. They won't talk to us. They are intent on stopping the Affordable Care Act, the Obamacare. And when they've taken that this way or the highway approach, there's nothing you can do uh, that is going to satisfy them because they do not want the president's plan for health care for everyone to go into effect on the 1st of October. So you can't compromise with somebody when they will not talk about the major issue. Um, Representative um, McDermott, you may have seen uh, the web video that was put out by Speaker Boehner this week in which he asks, why is the Obama administration willing to negotiate with Putin on Syria but not with Congress to address Washington's spending problem? Again, that's John Boehner saying that. Um, what do you make of his argument there? Well, uh, it's somewhat disingenuous from the speaker. Uh, the president has offered again and again to sit down with people, but the Republicans never come out with a proposal that doesn't wipe out the health care bill. And every time they bring one out that wipes out the health care bill, they know the president's going to say no. It's almost a guarantee that that's what will be the result of the uh, in negotiations. So they're they're guaranteeing by the way they construct their proposals that they're not going to get an agreement. They want to shut the government down and force the president to stop his health care bill. We, we've asked a Twitter question today, um, who most people will blame if there is a government shutdown. We're going to get to the answers overall from that. But do you worry that Democrats will be lumped in? Of course, the implication is most of our viewers have said that GOP will be responsible. But do you worry that the, that the Democrats will also be implicated in this and that that could play out in the 2014 elections? Well, most of us have made it pretty clear, those of us who saw the breakdown in 96 and 95, uh, that we don't want it and we'll do anything we can to prevent it. But this is such a uh, an issue without any compromise in it that the people are going to have to decide, do they want the Republicans who want to deny them universal health care coverage, do they want them to continue doing this kind of behavior in the House? They've done it 42 times, and they are, they are absolutely intent on it, and they're going to go down with it. And I, I don't, uh, the people will have to choose. I think the Democrats' offer of health care is something the people really want. People are worried about their health care security, and I don't think they're going to accept the Republicans, we want to get rid of Obamacare because it'll all be better if we get rid of it. That just isn't going to work. If Republicans, sir, in the House don't really believe that the Senate is going to send them back something that they can agree upon and, and do something productive, what is the incentive here? I mean, is this really, they're trying to hear the Republican ideology? Is this politics? Can you not separate the two? Well, there, there's probably two reasons here. One is you have a very large group of people who are very new to the political process, and they don't really understand what the government does. They don't have any concept of what's going to be like in nine days if the government stops. When they lock the doors to all the national museums, they lock people out of the national parks, the State Department no longer issues visas so people can't go on cruises, on cruise boats, when all of this stuff starts to 
to happen. They're going to be surprised and angry that that's what the result is. But those of us who've been through it before know that. And we've tried to tell them that, that this is not the way to get done what you want to do. What you have to do is be willing to compromise. I have never gotten 100 percent of anything I've tried to do in 40 years of being in government. I'm always willing to accept 60 percent and I'll be back next year for the other 40 percent. And that's the way it has always worked. These guys want 100 percent and it isn't it doesn't work that way. All right. Representative uh, Jim McDermott, thank you very much for joining us from California. I appreciate your insights. You're welcome.